most important skill if you are a trader whether you are a beginner trader or an experienced trader or a trader who is going through a slump is your ability to solve your trading problem and whenever there is a trading problem and if you can find a solution to that trading problem then it will allow you to move towards profitability beginner traders have a specific problem the beginner traders problem is that they don't have a setup or they don't have an understanding that you need a setup to be profitable so if you are a beginner trader in order to solve your problem of not having a setup is to research setups see what other people are using as setups try and like copy other people setup it is easier in the beginning to try and find somebody who has already got an established setup and take that setup idea and make it work once you fix your setup problem you are going to encounter another problem every setup has a specific setup market conditions under which it works like if you are trading breakout setups breakout traders setups are going to work in a bullish market or if you are trading a bearish strategy it is going to work in a bearish market if you are trading a reversal kind of a setup it is going to work when the market is severely oversold or a sector is severely oversold now having fixed your setup problem the next setup problem which you need to fix is called as a situational awareness and lack of situational awareness is one of the problems because of which a lot of traders are trading in a market where their setup is not likely to work and as a result of that you get chopped so having fixed the setup problem next setup problem which you need to fix is situational awareness when looking at your trading problems you are going to find that there are many issues related to entries when to enter a trade how to enter a trade what kind of an order to use to enter a trade what time do you want to enter a trade right uh, what conditions should a stock meet in order to enter a trade these are common problems which are commonly experienced by traders and more experienced trader profitable traders have found a solution to these problems like every setup there is a specific entry technique which you can use now if you have a problem with entries then you need to find solution to entries and typically in order to find solution to entries what you can do is you can create three alternative entry techniques and then try out entry technique 1 try out entry technique 2 try out entry 3 technique 3 and then find out whether it works better or what works better now once you solve your entry problem then you can tackle next set of problems when entry problems are solved then next thing which you will have is how do i exit this trade i got into this trade how do i exit there are many ways in which you can exit a trade what time do i want to exit do i want to exit on a stop do i want to exit on a trailing stop do i want to exit at a particular number of days like in a typically i trade 3 to 5 days whole period so i typically exit trades on third fourth or fifth day or do i want to exit full position or do i want to exit partial position and these are problems to which there are multiple solutions and you have to define what is your problem lot of traders they are good at entries but they are very bad at exits so then in that case entry is not your problem the problem is exit so then you need to fix your exit now if you fix exit as a problem then you will have two parts of the solutions one is you fixed entry you fixed exit but that is not complete solution to your trading problem there are more trading problem which you need to solve let's say you solve the problem of your setup having a setup you solve the problem of situational awareness which means like an you know when to trade your setup uh, and the third thing which you fixed is your entry technique then you fixed your exit you will have the next thing which is like how much should i be risking on that trade and there are multiple solutions to this problem of how much should i be risking it might be a function of what is the market condition certain market condition you might trade with a smaller size in certain market condition you might trade with a larger size or you might use margin or you decide not to use margin or you decide to magnify your returns by using options as a strategy so there are multiple problems which you can face in terms of sizing of a trade and sizing of a trade is a very important element of you making money because if you don't trade if you don't size your trade properly then what can happen is you are like and making money on some trades but you are losing more money on a trade because you didn't size it properly so sizing of a trade is a problem which you need to solve if you want to become a profitable trader 
So you need a problem solving approach to overcome your trading problems. Like you know, when I was a beginner trader, uh, I had problems with entries, I had problems with setups, I had problems with exits, I had problems with sizing the trade. Now I have found different solutions to my problems. Like now for, for example, in terms of entries, I have an entry tactic which is like find and enter early. So I typically enter most of my trades in the first 15 minutes or 20 minutes in the open. Now this particular kind of an entry technique works for the kind of setup idea which I work. Right, and it's not going to be a universal solution to everybody's trading problem. There are some people who will never trade, take a trade in the first half an hour. They're waiting for confirmation. Or there are some traders who like and only enter late in the day. So that solution when you find you are going to be moving in your profitability journey. Similarly, exit in the beginning years, I didn't know how to exit a trade. Now for my setup, setup I found an exit strategy which is like you know, what I call as peeling the position. That means I sell in tranches. So if I take a position of 5,000 shares, I'll be selling 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares at different prices. Now that is a solution to exiting a trade and that way you can like you know, make sure that the trade doesn't go bad on you or like you've taken partial profit and by harvesting profit the overall trade can become profitable. One of the big puzzle in trading is basically situational awareness and this is one of the problems which many traders are not aware in the beginning and when I solved my problem of situational awareness because I trade a particular kind of a setup which is a breakout setups and those breakout setups work very well in a bullish market they don't work so I found created a market monitor uh, kind of a dashboard which tells me when is the right time to get aggressive in buying breakouts and when my market monitor is not really giving a green signal I stay out of trades or I do a very little trading or I trade different setups. Now this is a solution to a problem. Now this kind of an approach which is problem solving approach is what is going to help you overcome your frustration in trading. When traders talk to me saying that like they are not having success or they have a problem or like you know, they are very frustrated, I always ask them what is the problem, right? And defining a problem, if you start like you know, breaking down the problem and say, okay, is it an entry problem? What is your problem? Are you exiting? Are you like you know, exiting too soon? Are you putting, or a stops is a problem for some people. Are you putting the stops at the right time? Are you moving your stops? Or are you putting too close a stop? Or are you putting too wide a stop? Now, these are the kind of questions once you start dealing with, then systematically day by day, you solve one problem, then you solve next problem, you solve next problem, and then at some stage you have enough confidence that most of your trading problems are now over and that is when you become a profitable trader. So if you are one of the traders who is like you know, feeling lost or you are feeling that you don't have a uh, direction, I think another you know, thing, skill which you need to develop is the ability to ask the right question and find solutions to your trading problem. And Solutions to trading problems are commonly available in public domain because traders over the years have fixed, faced similar problems and traders have found solution to the problems and you can use those ready-made solutions but once you acquire this mindset of problem solving is only when you are going to look for solutions to your trading problem.